Hey guys, it's your girl, Lashes Tony XO. How are you guys doing today? I haven't done a haul video in a very, very long time. Let me see if I'm focused. Right, let me see. Back that up a little bit. Um, so I haven't done a haul video in a while, so I did recently do some online purchasing. I thought I would share with you guys, and yeah just gonna go through it and then the next video I think you guys will see um, will be a video of me playing with all my new makeup which I'm really excited about that so um, let's go ahead so the, the three places I shopped at was Colourpop online Sephora online and Ulta online so I'm just gonna dive in I don't really know this is kind of bothering me sorry <laughs> I don't really know which one I'm gonna I'm just gonna dive in. Okay, so oh and I do have some hair care products too. Um some that I got it as a, a Christmas gift. I just wanted to kind of go over it with you in case you have curly hair like me. Um it it really um takes the drying time. It cuts it in half. So I've really been enjoying my hair dryer. Um so, yeah, and I got some new hair products and all that. So, let's just get started. Okay, so, first thing I want to talk about, I did pick this up. Um, I kept hearing people talk about it. I had major FOMO. <laughs> so, I was laying in bed watching, um, I think Coffee Break with Danny was talking about it. I don't remember who else was talking about it. Maybe Tiffany Dawn. My dogs are bumping my lights. Um, maybe Tiffany Dawn, I'm not really sure, but I heard several people talk about this, and I was like, hmm. Oh, Babs Beauty was another one, so I was like, I really want to pick this up. So, I got this from Sephora. Um, this was, um, it's a value of $58 US, retail $45 US. And it comes with a shampoo, conditioner, and also... A little spray so this is what the packaging looks like haven't used it yet but really excited to try it um, I've only been washing my hair once about once a week um, because you guys know I'm not feeling at, I'm not feeling my best that's why I have like this um whatever I don't even know what you want to call it <laughs> my line main I guess we'll call it um but this one right here is the conditioner it looks like this. I was a little surprised with the size. I thought it was going to be a lot larger than it actually is. Um, but the main reason, obviously, why I bought it was for the smell. And I can tell you that it's not open. It's sealed completely. And I can smell that really intense um, boom boom cream. So... I'm sure it's going to make my hair smell amazing. Um, but like I said, I don't feel like you get a lot of product with it. But I'm not going to open it because I can already smell it. It smells amazing. So you get, like I said, the conditioner. And let me see if it says how many ounces. Okay, so you get 10 ounces of the conditioner, 10 ounces of the shampoo, and uh, 1 ounce of the... You can use it as a hairspray or a body spray. So, I have purchased the body spray before. Um, like the full size. And this is what the mini looks like. So, I could just throw this in my purse. And it has that Boom Boom Cream smell. <sighs> yeah. Smells good. Smells good. So, and I do like the size. It's a very small... Compared to the original size, I think the original is $15 to $20 from Sephora. And this one is half that size. Like I said, it's one fluid ounce. Um, my mother would go nuts for this stuff because she loves that beach coconutty smell. This almost reminds me of my mom when she was younger. She used to like bathe in... And she would be one of those people that would always be in the sun, always had tan skin. So, it kind of reminds me of my mom a little bit. So, childhood memories. Um, and then also, like I said, you do get the shampoo, which 
obviously I haven't opened it yet, but I can still smell it. it smells amazing. So I'm excited to wash my hair with that. So this is, like I said, the Bite Beauty. They did change their formulas and stuff. Um, so I'm excited to play with it. Um, the color shade looks a little scary. I picked up L40 and this is what it looks like. Um, and you guys know I have like fair skin, especially being in bed all day. You like don't get no sun. Um, but in the tube it looks lighter than the box. Um, and I'm, I don't want, I don't remember how much this costs. Um, but I can put it down below for you guys. I want to say 39, but I could be wrong. Um, but you can see that the, the box looks a little darker than the bottle. And it, I did like open it and swatch it. And it does feel like, um, kind of the It CC Cream. That everybody loves it kind of feels like that it's very hydrating I think if you have dry skin I think you will absolutely love this um, I have combo and I just feel like this is gonna be a very beautiful um, foundation you can see that it is not my shade but we're gonna make it work um, but yeah I might have to return that and get a lighter shade next time I'm out and about um, or I'll get my husband to exchange it for me or something. But, um, yeah. So, I got that. I'm excited to play with that. Um, also got this uh, product from Sephora. This is by Lawless Beauty. It is a lip liquid. Not liquid. I always, I'm used to saying liquid lipsticks because that's normally what I buy. Really, motorcycle? Really? Um, but that's what I normally buy, but this is an actual bullet lipstick. It is new, and it's called Classic Cream Lipstick by Lawless. The packaging is very interesting, if you can see that. Um, because I thought, like, the way that it's made, that this would slide out, but it doesn't. Um, and I picked up the color Suede. Let's see if it'll focus. Picked up the color Suede. I'm actually, I actually just put it on my lips a few minutes ago. So that's the color I'm wearing right now, if you're curious. It is more of a cool tone brown, which is what I prefer. And I know Babs Beauty was talking about these. So I went ahead and picked this color up. It just looked like like an everyday nude for me personally this is the type of nudes that i like so like i said i like more of a more of a cool tone nude so this is again called suede and it's by lawless beauty it does have that like magnetic closure kind of like the old school nars um audacious lipsticks i used to collect those that kind of reminds me of the way this is. It's in a black packaging and it's magnetic. So, I'm so far I'm liking that lipstick. But you will see all this in a, like I said, upcoming video. Should be right after this one. Um, another thing I picked up from um, Sephora is this cream blush um, called tower which i never heard of until um i saw babs beauty talk about it this is a cream blush um in the color happy hour which is kind of like a it's a i thought it was going to be more of pink a, a pink tone but i feel like it is here's the packaging i feel like it's more of a i don't know more of a deeper pink it's a cream. Let's see. Almost like a coral. Kind of looks like a corally pink, I guess. It's just very bright. Um, so I thought it was going to be a little bit more baby doll pink, but this is more like boom in your face pink. Um, but I'm excited to try it. I do like cream blushes. I do like cream highlights and stuff like that so um 
maybe I like it, but we'll see. Like I said, look for an upcoming video for that. Also, I did purchase this from Ulta. This is the new e.l.f. Hydrating Chemo Concealer, you guys. I have really been wanting this. Um, I do have the original, and the original reminds me of the Tarte Shape Tape or the CoverGirl True Blend. Out of all three of those, they're full coverage. The color Light Sand, and I think I picked it up because that was the only shade available, like, that looked like it would be close to my shade. Um, but when I saw the packaging, um, this does not look good. So I might be taking this color back, the buy one, to get a lighter one and the elf one to get a lighter one unless i just want to mix it with lighter stuff but a little disappointed in when you shop online for foundation and concealer it's a little tricky you guys look at this color it might not look that bad but i just feel like that is more warm than what i normally like i like a bright under eye usually um, today I'm wearing CoverGirl, um, but yeah, I'm, that just looks more yellowy, more golden undertone. I don't think this is going to be right for me, so I, I'm probably going to have to, like I said, return this, get a lighter shade, return this, and get a lighter shade. I don't know. I'll keep you posted what I decide to do maybe in my next video. I don't know. Um, okay, another thing I picked up was a e.l.f. foundation. I got this from um, Ulta. And I just kept hearing Kelly Gooch say this was like one of her number one fave foundations. And I haven't opened it yet, as you see. Um, I picked up the color... What color did I get? Natural. So, I'm pretty sure that was the color that Kelly Gooch said she wore. So, I just picked up natural. Um, hopefully, this one won't be too dark as well. I hate ordering concealer and foundations online. I usually just go ahead with my with getting light porcelain or ivory. Those usually suit me best. But, I don't know. I've been picking the wrong colors lately. Let me see if I can open this and we will kind of swatch it and hopefully not be disappointed okay so i'm going to shake this up this has been out for a while and a lot of people love this it's a lot of people's like holy grail it is what does it say on here it is flawless a flawless satin finish foundation and i got the color 110 natural so let's try this on the back of my hand and see okay you gotta pump it a few times we'll see what it does come on come on guy come on guy i think this is a little bit more thicker okay i can hear it now ah okay a lot came out yeah this is it i'm like turning it over this is a thicker um, a lot thicker foundation than the by beauty the by beauty like i said is more like the it cosmetics cc cream so if you have dry skin combo skin normal skin i think you will really get along with the natural the natural skin like of the by beauty this one okay this one is definitely more my color um it is supposed to be like a medium to full coverage foundation so i have never tried this so i will if you guys want me to do um like i said there will be a get ready with me using the by beauty foundation but if you want to see me use the elf like more full coverage foundation let me know in the comments and i can totally do that for you guys um using you know new products um, okay, so I also did pick up this. This is by, um, I always forget the name of this. What is this called? Persona. Persona, I feel like, makes some of the best lip products. 
I know they make eyeshadows. I know they make um, highlighters, but I've only tried their lip products. And I'm planning on doing a ranking lip products uh, video coming soon. And I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, like sneak peek or or spoiler alert, Persona is gonna be up there in my ranking because I really love the liquid lipsticks. They're so comfortable on the lips, like so comfortable. And I wanted a new color, so I picked up the color Holy Grail. It is a matte liquid lipstick. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. I do have the bright orangey red one. And it is called... What is that one called? Hmm. I've talked about it on my channel before. Let me see if I have it in my... Yeah, I do have it here. Phoenix. It is called... I already have Phoenix. Let me see if I can show you what Phoenix looks like. So this is the one I've already, already had. I, I like to wear this one more... Summertime, it is one of those really bright, bright lips. And then I picked up this one because it is darker. Again, this top one is Holy Grail and the bottom one is Phoenix. And these liquid lipsticks are amazing. If you don't like sticky lip, liquid lipsticks, if you don't like um, those lipsticks that get really crusty in the middle of your lips think you'll like these they're a little more lightweight um but yeah i got a new color so i'm excited about that that i can do like maybe um do a red lip do a full coverage elf foundation there you go um look because I do have some new eyeshadow palettes as well. So, we're going to get into that in a minute. Um, you guys already probably know why I picked it up. Samantha March. Hello. Um, this is her number one favorite eyeshadow palette. She did a ranking eyeshadow palette. Which I kind of want to do. Like my bottom. Bottom eyeshadow palettes. Yeah. And my. Sorry, that's my phone. And my top rated eyeshadow palettes. I haven't tried this one. Um, but... I'm excited to try it. Natasha Denona. These are only $25. They are so small though, you guys. I was like, when I when I got it, I was like, are you kidding me? This, this is what size it is? It is so tiny. It probably doesn't look tiny in the pan, but if, if I knew where my other one was, let me see if I can find my other Natasha Denona palette. It's somewhere. Okay, here it is. This is the one I paid $65 for that, remember when I broke it, fell everywhere? This is the one, the mini for $25. So, $65, $25. So, this is my new one. This is the nudes. This one, what is this one? This one's the coral one that I picked, that I picked up a while back, but... I just wanted to show you the comparison like I was shocked how small this was but here are the colors and they do look really really neutral and beautiful I'm thinking um, I could if you guys want me to do a look I could do a look with this like I said red lip more full coverage foundation um, the shimmers is what I usually get more intrigued about the shimmers so that's what it looks like the three shimmers this is a five pan palette um so i'm really excited about playing with this um if you've tried this let me know what you think also you guys i did pick up two other palettes these are from ColourPop, and i picked up this one which was on my wish list for a while it's called going coconuts um it's just a neutral palette and i have had my eye on this for a while um it just looked the colors look so pretty so let me see if i can open it you guys know i don't have any nails right now um but this is the colors they just look so stinking pretty um so you got let me see if i can swatch a couple of, let me pull this up my sleeve up and we'll swatch a couple so um we've got Cocoa Cream, which looks like that. We have 
Palm Reader. That one looks a little powdery and chunky. This one looks wet, and I really like the way that one looks. This one looks a little chunky, so I'm going to wipe that one off my finger. Um, Then you have De Coco, which looks really pretty as well. Again, has that wet look. Not as pretty as this one. I think this one might be a super shock shadow. I'm not sure. Um, and then you got some mattes in here as well. You have one called Nutty, which is really deep. Really beautiful. And then you have another one called Get Kraken, which looks like that. I just kind of mixed it with the other one by accident. So let me swatch it again. Looks like that. Um, so that is going coconuts. If you want me to um, do a get ready with me using this palette, let me wipe my hands and I'll show you guys. I have three new palettes, so just let me know which one you want to see. Um, these are the two neutral palettes that I picked up going coconuts and the Natasha Denona nudes. So they're kind of similar now that I look at them, which is kind of interesting. This one looks a little more warmer than this one looks more cool tone. Um, and this one looks a little more warmer, but I can do, I can definitely do, uh, looks with these for sure. And then the last palette I picked up was the blush palette, the blush crush palette. Like that's, I got it for Valentine's Day. It's like a really beautiful soft pinks so there's a super shock shadow in here which is really really pretty let's get that wet look um you got what color are these um you have one called blush wine you have one called cheek to cheek um you have one called made me made you blush sorry so made you blush there's that wine color, the super shock, and uh, cheek to cheek. So that's what those look like. Really, really pretty. Um, so let me know in the, in the comments what palettes you are most excited to see. Um, also, I picked up a lip liner from Melt Cosmetics. Um, it's in the color Foxy. I'm actually wearing that today. But you will, like I said, you will see a video of me using this in the future. Um, and this is also a cool tone brown. It actually is an exact match to the Lawless um, Cream Lipstick, which I will show you. And the reason why I know that is because, for one, I'm wearing both of them and they're like spot on. For two, um, Babs Beauty recommended both of these colors together, so that's why I decided to pick them up. As you can see, they're exactly the same. So this is Mount Cosmetics in the color Foxy. This is Lawless Beauty Lip Cream, their new one, in the color Suede. And that's what I'm wearing on my lips. It's very, very natural color and very creamy. It's not matte. It's I don't think they're called mattes. Let me look again. They're, yeah, they're called classic cream lipsticks. Um, so they're not matte. So if you don't like a matte lip, you might enjoy, um, these products. So I got that as well. Like I said, I haven't been shopping in a while, so did a little retail therapy, a few weeks ago and I've had these products I've been wanting to haul. Also, I have a new perfume. This is the um um what am i trying to say ariana grande cloud perfume um looks like it's very reflective very holographic um and this is what it looks like it's in a clear i just got the spray um i was gonna get like the big size but i was like what if you don't like it so i decided to just get the spray um it, it's not a roller ball it is a spray so i'm gonna smell like cocoa and sweet <laughs> i did pick up something from the ordinary i've been wanting to try this is the aha 30 percent plus bha two percent peeling solution um i did keep this for my um son's girlfriend for christmas actually and she seems to like it um 
I've heard Samantha, was it no, Samantha March? No. Kelly Gooch talk about this is her favorite skin product. She said, I think she said she puts it on on Sunday and gives herself a little peel. So for the week you have like fresh skin. Um, it just takes a, a slight layer. It's a peeling solution. So I'm a little nervous about it. It does have like this blood red um, color to it. But the Ordinary is so affordable for skincare. So if you guys are like, I'm not paying that much for, you know, Drunk Elephant or what is that other really, there's a lot of high-end skincare. I'm like that too. I have a lot of, I want to do a skincare video for you guys coming soon because I am over 40 and a lot of people are like, you don't look like you're over 40. Um, and I don't use a lot of super high-end, um, skincare products so I just want to show you guys like if you're on a budget you can still have beautiful skin you can still look youthful um and I want to show you guys a lot of my skincare that I use is you know drugstore or middle of the ground so uh, if you want to see that skincare video coming up let me know in the comments um I also picked this up from Colourpop um this is by their sister brand this is a gradual sunless tanning lotion I figured since I don't feel like self-tanning and letting it dry, blah, 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 blah. I hate doing that nowadays because I don't feel good. But it, when I take a bath and I feel kind of dry, I could just put this on and give myself a little color. Um, like I said, it is a gradual tan, so I'm not expecting anything major. Um, I did get the dark color, I'm pretty sure. This is uh, vegan, cruelty-free, parabens-free, uh, mineral oil-free, so all that good stuff-free. And I got the color medium to deep. So, I show you what the packaging looks like. I have not used this yet. If you guys want me to try it out and come back and give you a review, I can totally do that. But it, it looks like a, you know, body lotion. So, I figured it would make me want to use it more, you know, after I get out of the tub. Just slather some of this on my legs, my upper body, and go to bed. <laughs> Because I don't feel like doing much these days. I definitely don't feel like self-tanning. So I figured this would be something that I maybe could do for now. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. Last few things. I did pick up this from Ulta. This is the Tresemme. Um, just a hairspray. Extra firm control hairspray. I picked this up before I picked this other hair care stuff. So I, wanted, I was just like, let me just find the cheapest. But when I went and got my hair done... I did pick these up from the salon. Um, they She used these on my hair um, that day that I showed you guys. And my hair looked beautiful. Um, which it probably never will again. But um, she's really good at hair. So, shout out to Ashley if you're watching. Um, this is the Moroccan Oil uh, Dry Textured Spray. She used this on my hair. Um, and it just looked beautiful. So, I had to pick this up. Also, she used the Moroccan Oil Luminous Hairspray. And this is Extra Hold. I love this hairspray. It just gives your hair like this amazing like bounce. If I can like show you. It just, I don't know. It just gives your hair like an awesome bounce. So, I hope, I hope, I hope you can see that. But I got this for Christmas. From my son and his girlfriend Ashley. She is a hairstylist. So I did ask for a hair a new hair dryer because my hair dryer was not doing the trick. So it is by Rusk and it is amazing. Um it's 19, 1900 watts, super lightweight, and the best feature I feel like I'll show you what it has. If you have crazy curly hair like I do, let me show you what it has this right here it has this feature right here which is awesome for curls so what I do my hair is super wet I'll put a treatment on it like a curl treatment and then I'll just flip it over and I'll just dry it like this and it takes like probably five minutes to dry my hair with this so I just wanted to give this little hair dryer from Rusk a little shout out so that is the end of my haul 
hope you guys enjoyed it i haven't done a haul in a very long time if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button and be part of our life's just tiny so family i would love to have you here um and if you like this video you like this haul please give me a thumbs up if you guys want to see me try out any of these products that i showed you please leave me a comment down below and i would love to chat with you guys and i'll see you next time bye